Hey, every once in a while, I get really excited. I've been excited about some really spectacular wines. I've been really excited about some spectacular whiskeys. Today, we're going to go ahead and discuss a, a whiskey from Scotland that has combined the world of wine and whiskey together. I'm excited. We're going to go ahead and discuss the new 2020 Ardbeg Black committee release. Man, I get goosebumps thinking about it. Stay tuned. Hey, you've tuned in to the Rookie Wine and Whiskey Enthusiast, YouTube's primary channel for discussing mostly Pacific Northwest wines and spirits, but not exclusively. And tonight is one of those not exclusive uh, nights. Um, we are going and we're going to go to two countries. We're going to go to Scotland and we're going to combine that with wines from New Zealand. We have got Ardbeg Black 2020 committee release. This is their 20th anniversary release. But before we go ahead and dive right into the single malt whiskey, go ahead and if you like this channel, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Also, when you hit the subscribe button, a little bell icon is going to come up. Hit that bell icon and select all, not personalized, but all. That way, if you do like this content, when I do upload something, you're going to go ahead and that, hitting that all button on the, on the bell, make sure that you get the notifications. Also, if you like this content, please go ahead and hit the thumbs up button and comment down below. So, I am a whiskey nerd when it comes to Glen Morangy and Ardbeg. Um, I really do have a love for both those single malt scotch companies. Um, and the fact that the parent company to both of them, uh, which is the Hennessy Corporation, also now has a majority hold on the Woodenville Whiskey Company here in the Washington State area. There is a lot of synergy now between those three companies where you have the head distiller um, at Ardbeg and Glen Morangy that's also talking with the guys at Woodenville. But Dr. Bill Lumpson, who is the head distiller at both Ardbeg and Glen Morangy, he's kind of known as the mad scientist of the Scotch whiskey world. And what he has done, and I've been begging other whiskey companies to do this, is he has taken Pinot Noir barrels from New Zealand and he has aged the Ardbeg product in those barrels. And I'm telling you, this, I have been excited to review this for you guys. I've had it open now for about a month, and I've been sipping on it ever so slightly. Now, it's called Ardbeg Black with three A's. And, you know, I've been trying to, you take a look at the bottle. This bottle is absolutely solid black. Um, and it goes to the black sheep of the whiskey world is how they describe it. I'll go ahead and read the back here. A close-knit tribe. Among the whitewashed walls of Isla stands a black sheep Ardbeg, the island's divergent distillery, defined by its turbulent history, revered for the drams it produces, and envied for its unorthodox attitude. Ardbeg is a whiskey that stands out in a crowd. And in a corner of every field and every farm foam place, you'll find Ardbeg committee member. This special whiskey celebrates our dyed-in-the-wool Ardbegian flock those souls dedicated to preserving the intimate old taste of Ardbeg by hook or by crook. So, now, this is their committee release, which is going to be at a slightly higher ABV. We are talking, this one is at 50.7% alcohol by volume. Let's dive right into this. Again, it's been aged, uh, it's a non-aged state product, but it's been aged in, uh, in Pinot Noir cask. Take a look at the color on that. I would say that has a slight red hue tint to it. I don't have a piece of white paper. Let me go ahead. I've got a napkin right here. Now, normally I would do this with just wine, but there is a golden note to that, and it's almost, it has a copper, actually not golden, but more of a copper hue. Let's go ahead. Oh, right off the bat, this is an intense single malt whiskey. But when you when you're when you're nosing Ardbeg, you typically get a very sooty type of smoke. Um, 
savory to me. And that's right off the bat what I'm getting. But I'm also getting a very fruity note from the Pinot Noir. Pinot Noir has some, has some very light fruit notes to it, but they can be intense. I'm getting charred, charred raspberry. There's a uh, plum. There's a creaminess to the nose, almost like a, uh, a multi malto meal style of a thick, a thick cream of wheat note to it. But the fruit from the Pinot Noir cast is really coming out. There's also a, a malty sweetness on the nose. Oh, man, that's just, this is... Now, I've had, like I said, I've had it open about a month and I've been sipping on it. So it should be down to right about here. Let's go ahead and I can't wait to take a sip of this. Oh, there is a fruit explosion right on the palate. That it's it's sort of like a uh, remember I, I described the nose as that creamy malto meal or or hot a hot malty pudding. Imagine taking those plums and those raspberries and those cherries and mixing it in, and then taking a flamethrower and putting a layer of char on it. Because right after the initial sweet maltiness, the, it comes a, a wave of soot, like a like an overcooked ham savory uh, smoker note to it. Uh, so you've got, a, you've got this honey baked ham with, there's, I'm also getting kind of a pineapple note to it. Mm. Let's go ahead. I gotta have another sip of this. Mm. This one I let sit on the palate just a little bit longer. This has got a very long finish to this. Something that is absolutely just oh. Now it is non-chill filtered. I wish you guys could see this. It has some long legs. I mean, this is an oily, viscous, palate coating whiskey. Whew. That is spectacular. But the question is, is, is it worth it? I, I paid $169 for this bottle here in the state of Washington. And is it worth it? If you like, if you love Ardbeg, this is a must-have bottle. Excuse me. Um, I had a, I, had, I never, I didn't review it, but I did have a sample of the Supernova, and I actually have a bottle of the Supernova as well, which is also a, a uh, I believe it's also a committee release, and in the Supernova was actually even more money than the Black. If I could go back and buy two bottles of the Black versus one bottle of the Supernova, I would. Um, and I like the Supernova. Don't get me wrong. It is a good, solid single malt. But for the price, like I said, the, the Supernova was a $214, $215 a bottle. This is $169 a bottle. Uh, this is a superior. This is a superior art bag. To the supernova but it's also really not fair to compare i don't think now what am i going to give this as a score i'm going to give the art bag black a score of 92 out of 100. it may even go higher but everybody the the amongst those that like art bag one of the things that people argue about is whether or not it's as good as art bag dark cove now, I have a bottle of Ardbeg Dark Cove committee release. 
I'm not going to open that up. So, I am going to open my non Ardbeg, which is already opened up. My non Ardbeg committee release, my non committee release, Dark Cove. Right there. And we are going to compare the color and we're going to compare the taste. Now, this one, the non committee release, sits at 46.5%. So in reality, it's just a sheer, it's just a shy 5% less um, on the alcohol by volume. This one here, uh, Dark Cove was aged and matured in dark sherry casks. Um, let's go ahead and open this up real fast. Ah, this one is also non-age dated. Now, uh, so Ardbeg Dark Cove. So right off the bat, let's go ahead and take a look here. Okay, the black is slightly darker. Oh, it's not even slight. It's noticeably darker. There's more, more of a deep color uh, copper note to that, uh, to that. Let's go ahead on the nose of the Dark Cove. Ah, oh, there is that musty sherry, dark raisins and plums. However, the smoke note on the nose is a lot less intense than it is on the black. Now, this bottle here, it's down to about this level right here. I've had this one open for... I sip on it every once in a great while. Uh, I would say this bottle's been open about nine months. All right, there is the smoky note. But the fruit, the fruit on this is so much more intense. The malt sugar note on it is much more tamped down than it is on this. Yeah, this is a much more deeper, rich... Um, like I said, uh, plums, raisins, uh, that dark stone fruit that you would get out of sherry. All right, let's go ahead and have a sip of this. Mm. I don't know how they did it, but the smoke is completely different on this on this uh, dark cove it's spectacular um, this is more of a, a charred sooty type of uh, barbecue type of uh, ash type of smoke note this there's a little bit more brininess to this one again the dark fruits come out but the smoke note is more reminiscent of the black, uh, not I don't want to say tar note that you sometimes get with peat, but maybe more along the lines of dark oil or petroleum notes that really come through. Um, oh my goodness, what am I gonna? I mean, I love Dark Cove. Dark Cove really is one of the finest, um, one of the finest releases that Ardbeg has ever done. Uh, I know that the committee release, and I'm, I don't remember what the ABV is on the committee release, but with these only being 5% pretty much ABV difference, um, this, and again, this has been open about eight or nine months. This one's only been open about a month. I love the smoke on the black. I love the fruit uh, and the fruit notes on the Dark Cove. I have to give the slight edge to the Dark Cove. This is a, this is a great whiskey. This is an excellent whiskey. The Dark Cove still has the slight edge on the black. So, anyways, that being said, if you like this content, let me, you know, hit the like button. But have you, 
let me know have you had the Ardbeg Black have you had the Ardbeg Dark Cove I am in absolute heaven with both of these and you know um, if I were to give the Dark Cove and, I, and I'm not going to review uh, do an in-depth review of the Dark Cove the committee release is a 94 for me uh, I've had it and I, like I said I have a bottle of it downstairs it's not going to be open for a lot for quite some time but 94 uh, the non-committee release probably a 90 I would say a 92 just like the committee release for the black so anyways let's do this we're gonna go ahead and make it blend well it's not blended it's still a single malt scotch because it's from the same distillery so anyways that being said thank you very much for tuning in I was excited to finally uh, I wanted this to open up just a little bit before I reviewed it um, the Pinot Noir really does shine through on this single malt whiskey the sherry cast really does uh, shine through on this one here both if you can buy if you are a fan of Ardbeg, buy this. So, anyways, thank you very much for tuning in. Please comment, like, share, comment, do the whole nine, the whole nine yards on it. Let me know down in the comment section down below if you've had the Ardbeg Black, and if you haven't, why haven't you looked for it yet? So, please drink responsibly, and as always, life is too short for either bad wine or bad whiskey. Ardbeg, you had Dr. Bill Lumsden, you've done a wonderful job on this. Thank you very much for producing this. Cheers. Mm. That blend is unique.